I'm Ian, lead designer at Drinkbox Studios, the team behind the Guacamelee series. Now we're working on our new game, an action RPG called Nobody Saves the World. It's really hard to save the world as nobody, so instead, you use a magic wand to turn into tons of different forms, each one having its own unique active and passive abilities. In this video, we want to dig deeper into the game's customization system to show you how, over time, you can mix and match the abilities of different forms to make tailored builds and overcome any situation you're facing. We'll pick up here with the Monk form. The Monk starts off powerful. He's got a ton of health, and he uses rapid strikes to stun enemies, along with a blast that knocks them away. The Monk's cool, but he has downsides too. He's a big tank and does very little damage. That said, with customization, I can use the abilities from other forms to create some wild combos that'll help me dish out lots of damage and deal with tougher enemies. What tougher enemies? Well, take these blue blobby guys called corpse exploders. They explode corpses into a bunch of projectiles, which, yeah, it's pretty annoying. But if I customize my monk, I will definitely find ways to deal with them. So to start, I'm going to equip the Zombite ability. This move comes from the zombie form, and it'll let me build up a zombie army to fight by my side. When I Zombite an enemy, it infects them. And when infected enemies die, they come back to life as a zombie familiar who can infect other enemies. There's lots of upsides to this. First, I'm getting an army of zombies, and that's cool. But second, the enemies I'm killing with Zombite aren't turning into corpses, they're turning into my zombies so that's way less exploding corpses to deal with. Now that I have this rad zombie army, I can make the most out of that with customization too. So let's tweak my build with a few more passive abilities. One's called Unstoppable Underlings, and the other, from the Necromancer form, is called Blood Pact. One makes my zombies run faster, and the other will take part of my damage and turn it into healing for my zombies. So now they are speedy and they are gonna live forever. The moves I've picked are putting me in a pretty aggressive playstyle, so for one last customization, I'm going to try and get my monk's damage up as high as possible. This move, also taken from the Necromancer, is called Blood Sacrifice. It lets me kill one of my familiars to boost my own damage. This works well with zombies, since they're so cheap to make. If you kill one for a damage boost, that's a pretty good deal. And if you recall, Blood Pact turns my damage into healing for them, so the damage boost means I'm actually giving more healing to my zombies. At this point, I've found a set of moves that works really well for this dungeon, and I stand a good chance of clearing it. There's plenty of other customizations I could have used to get through this too. There's tons of forms in the game, and they all have their own shareable moves. And if I grab a friend for some online co-op, that's double the number of abilities that we can combo together. We'll leave it up to you to experiment and find out what works best for you in every situation. We can't wait to see what you come up with when Nobody Saves the World comes out early next year.